Hey guys, it's Calvin, also known as Warmer, and this is the return to Twilight, and here is this lady we want to talk to. Oh, my link, come in. Oh, you simply must hear this, my little kitty cat so amazing. Today he caught a fish all by his little old self. How do you think he caught it? Maybe he's a genius. Oh, just look, isn't he so cute, the way he laps up that milk? Say, my dear, why don't you have this, uh, some too? I'm in a good mood, so it's on the house today. So this is how we get our first bottle, and, um... So, we, okay, it gives us three hearts, but I think potions are going to be better for us as time goes on uh, in the game. But it's still a very cool thing, right? It's still a very cool thing. A little tiny little side thing that you can do to get a... Uh, well, we're, we're trying to buy, buy the slingshot as well, aren't we? But a little side thing you can do to get an extra item. Uh, let's talk to her again. Oh, don't you worry. You don't have to return an empty bottle, my dear. You can reuse it, you know. Put something else in it. Recycling is a very important thing, my dear. I'm sure you'd never do anything of the sort, but kids these days toss things out like, out like the whole world is disposable. It's criminal. So what do you say, my dear? Is there anything else you want today? If you're interested, take a look around. So we can buy a uh, some milk, which will replenish our energy, uh, or we can buy a slingshot, which is 30 rupees. Um, We want to get the slingshot, don't we? That's what, that's what we're looking for at this very moment in time. <laughs> it's so cool to be back in this world, and I'm actually very excited to see more of it. Oh, we collected another rupee there. I'm trying to collect enough rupees. How many? We have 20 rupees, so we need 10 more rupees to do this. He did say that he wanted us to knock down that hive, or at least he wanted to knock down the hive. I love climbing in this game. Um, I would love to have, like, the grip of the climbing in this in, like, Breath of the Wild 2. I think that'd be really cool. Let's knock down that, um, that, that beehive, or, like, hornet's nest. Because we have to go up there ourselves to get some more rupees. I think there's a yellow rupee right in the top, but we can't go there until we knock this down. I was wondering why it was so shaky, then I remember you actually have to use the game- Well, you don't have to use it, but you can use the gamepad to, uh, to aim in this game. Which, to be honest, it isn't so bad. It isn't- it isn't bad at all, actually, from my experience so far, but I don't remember much of it. Let's talk to this guy again. Like, oh, I saw all that. Calling down a hawk, why didn't you think of that? Why didn't I think of that? I was thinking of trying to knock that thing down myself, but you beat me to the punch, my boy. Well, now you can go home to your wife and she won't think of you as a disappointment anymore. It'll be great. You'll have a great, great old time. So we need a rupee there. We need, though... Well, if we get a yellow rupee now, we're actually enough to buy the slingshot, which is something we actually need for this game. I remember, if I remember correctly, this game gets bigger and bigger, but, like, in a... Not in, like, a grand, like, open space sense, but in, like, a grand, like, idea sense. Look at this! <laughs> Man, it's so weird because, like, I played this a couple of months back, but maybe it's the new TV that's, like, making everything a little bit crazy for me. <laughs> there we go, 37. See you later. And you can just do a nice little roll. I wonder if that actually works in real life. I know that, like, a bunch of my friends used to always say that if you jump off something really high, you just have to do a good roll. But I know for, my, for a fact I would just, like, break my back. Hi. Welcome, my dear. Yes, I would like to buy your slingshot. Why are you doing me buying a slingshot, you naughty thing? You're too old for toys. Will you at least let the kids play with it? Uh, I should tell you, if you happen to run out of pellets, you can also buy use pumpkin seeds. So we got the uh, children's love this item. Yeah, it's kind of like, um, I don't know why it's like she's like really mean to us about that, but hey, she is. Uh, we have seven rupees left as well, so we, probably, we could probably get some of that. I love this room here as well, because while she has like, right, watch this, look. One picture of her child. Some, oh, I didn't even notice the chilies. Uh, but then, like, about three pictures of her cat. <laughs> this girl cares about her cat a lot. Okay, let's go use the slingshot, and... I guess we have to give it to... Or there'll probably be something waiting for us, right? No, okay, okay. Uh, is there anyone else we can talk to, I guess? I guess we've pretty much done everything we can do uh, right now. And there's not really much side stuff else, or other side stuff we can do until the night time. Ah, oh, just in time, Link. I just delivered something to your room. Oh, I see you got a fishing rod. Colin will be pleased, and it works better than you would think, right? Well, have a good one. Yeah, I, I think officially this is still my favorite character model of Link. I'm sorry, Skyward Sword. You're my, you're, you're one of my favorite games ever. But like, please, I think this is just amazing. I got the slingshot. Uh, Link has a slingshot. Whoa! 
Wow, you look at that. What's that? <laughs> you enough money to buy it, Link? Yeah, now we're gonna practice with it. So we have to hit the targets. And the other ones are for the swords as well. Preparations complete. Okay, wow, this is great. Let's see how powerful that slingshot is. Hit the targets and those scarecrows. I can't believe you two brats are so obsessed about this. It just shows what little boys you so both still are. These two idiots will never shut up about it, so I guess you'll just have to show them, Link. Uh, for sure. Uh, so then we have to put the slingshot to the uh, X. And... Oh, wait. Oh, I forgot. We have to... Do we have to... Okay, yeah, this is actually, like, relatively easy. Whoa, you hit it. You hit it. I looked at the manual in the store, and it said that it's easier to hit stuff uh, nearby when you press the yell when you're aiming. I thought you weren't interested, Beth. Beth is very interested. How could you not be interested? So, oh, wait. So, yeah, Z-targeting. There's, there's, there's some spiders in this game. I forgot about that. Um, people keep reminding me though in the comment section, so on my on my first playthrough, so I think I'm gonna be very worried as this game goes on. Oh, there's one more up here. Oh, there's two more. The gamepad aiming is not bad. Like I can imagine it'd be bad if you had to do it in a boss battle, or at least like alright. Oh my god, even like evil child is impressed. Whoa, amazing Link. Haha, <laughs> thanks, Link. The kids are so well designed as well though, right? So distinctive. Gee, you really are amazing, Link. Uh, by the way, Link, were you expecting Colin's dad to bring something by here? Because he did. Oh, yeah, that's right. What was that anyway? I command you to tell us. There's no way that they didn't intend this child to look like an evil genius. There's no way. Let's go talk to uh, Colin anyway. Hello, Colin. Oh, you got it. I hope you like it. Aren't you off for work for today, Link? Um, I don't need to work because I am the hero of Twilight. A lot of people get on my back all the time when I mix those up. <laughs> Not on my back, they're kind of like Calvin, you mix it up a little bit. But hey, what can you do? And we got a little uh, wooden sword. Uh, Russell returned it after honing it, I honing it in for you. It's easy, you just press B. So then we have to... I guess we can't hit anything in here? Okay, let's leave again and then we're gonna do some target practicing outside. I'm so excited for the stuff that's about to happen. I'm so excited. Let's go. Whoa, my, isn't that a wooden sword, Link? Whoa, she's right. Hey, can I see it for a second? Seriously, lately these monkeys have been coming out of the woods and playing tricks on us. We want to get them good. So you're just gonna beat the shit out of the monkeys with a stick? Come on, teach us how to use a sword. Yeah, okay, sure. Yeah! So I'm assuming that like the, the, the choice of the lesson there is for people that have played this game multiple times and probably don't want to do it. Alright, first off, I want to see that move. The slice. Uh, you just swing with B, right? Just a simple slice. Oh, this is the cutest thing in the world as well. Oh, horizontal slice! Oh, was that, was that it? Was it? I think I've seen you do a vertical slice before too, you know, by pressing B while targeting. Alright, next. Oh, I want to see the other move, Link. Yeah, the one where you press, uh, where you tilt up. So tilt up with the L, uh, while well, well, Z targeting, and press B. Oh, please. The stab. <laughs> he's, he's not impressed at all. A little bit of a stab. Oh, Link, that's just amazing. Since you're at it, how about you show us the other move? You know, the one with the t twirly thing uh, you do. I love that. What do you call it? A spin attack? Like it's hard to briefly hold B and release. Oh, that's such a good way of introduction, <laughs> introducing it as well. They're so cool. They're so cool to be around. Oh, wow. Thanks, Link. I'm sorry you have to waste your time when these old brats, when you must be tired from doing all important stuff you do. Hey, wait. You gotta show the jump attack before you go. You know, the one where you go hiya and leap through the air. You mean the one where you just hold ZL and press A? Oh, yeah. We're tough. It's... Shut up. Oh, he's impressed. He's impressed, though. I don't know what. They're so well designed. The ca every character in this game that we're going to encounter is pretty freaking well designed, I think. Thanks, Link. 
Uh, so I, th I think I kind of get it. Mm, kinda. Maybe not. So this means that any time one of us naughty monkeys show up? Ah. The little rose, is it like a rose or a hat on it? It's great. Come here, you. And it did, they're very good at like getting like the childlike wonder of children as well, right? Like... These kids like uh, like really like are going on an adventure and think they can do everything themselves because they're looking at adults like Link. And Link's not an adult, but they're looking at like teenagers like Link and thinking I can do what he does. You okay? Tallow and Mallow went chasing like crazy people after that monkey. I can't keep up with those two. Well, I'll keep. I'll be the one that keeps up with them then. So you Mallow? They went that way. The rest is up to you, Link. Wait. They went this way? How do you sprint? Do you sprint in this game? They probably taught me how to sprint, but I just don't, I don't even remember. But like, at least like, walking around like this is pretty okay too. Oh, you can roll with the, um, with the A button or the ZR. That's great. I think I'd prefer the A button, but then we're gonna probably have to use that for other things as well. So we're probably going to get our first taste of combat here. Oh, I, I think I prematurely did this. I think we're going to have to like trot over this thing here as well. So uh, let's just get a good look at this though. Yeah, I think we're going to we're gonna have to climb over this. Come on, Epona. We could have called a horse something different, but, um... I don't know, opponent just fits. Let's go. This is such a gorgeous place, too. Collect a few rupees on our way out. Well, they went far, but I suppose, like, kids have a lot of stamina. And I'm not going very fast after them. We should probably go a little bit faster. Wait, so we can't go that way yet because we can't cut them down. We have to go this way, right? So the forest temple path is that way. It's pitch back dark ahead. Party's interest in going forward must first go this way. So yeah, because we have to get the lantern. Did I go too far? Did I go too far with myself? Did you see some kids going along this way? Ah, oh, an Ardoidian. Okay. Listen, I'm sure you'd be wandering around the woods without a lantern. Just because it's daylight doesn't mean it's safe. There are tons of caves and dang spots around here. That get pretty dark, even in the middle of the day. Here, go, take this. So we got a lantern. Okay, this is, uh, this must, uh, this is, must be for lighting the dark places. We can equip it as well, like a normal item, so it's gonna be pretty useful in the dark. See, I sell oil, uh, lantern oil here. I'm trying to draw up sales by giving out free lanterns. It's a business tactic, eh? See, as long as you got the oil to fuel your lantern, you can light your way and set the fire to stuff. Uh, they're the best. Go on, try setting a fire on that big pot. Um, should I be? I wonder, should I be, like, looking for the kid I'm with? That's right, see, it's on fire, gay. Okay? <laughs> you keep using that lantern any time you feel the need. And if it runs out of oil, you come see me to get it refilled. Where is this kid? Okay, so I'm just gonna head back this way. There's, there's, no, there's not much else to do, really, is there? <laughs> Can we, can we burn this guy? Oh no, I guess we just hit him. So wait a second. That's a... Okay, well, okay. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, that, that's fine. That's, that's easy enough. You found a play wooden sword. It's Talos. Oh shit. <laughs> Talo! This is actually a scary situation. Uh, oh shit. And, like, it's happened to everyone, even when, like, the children aren't lost. Uh, what happens, honestly, I feel like is that, like, even for a split second, if you think that you're, that a child you're, like, minding or something is lost, it's scary. It's a fuck. and, like, even in this situation, like, like, this kid clearly can't fend for themselves, which is what makes this even better. I'm trying to save as much lantern oil as I can. Hello? I see you. I see you. I'm not that much of an idiot. Okay, let's see. Then we have to go, oh, the spider webs. Spiderwebs are freaky anyway, like, you know, on their own. 
Uh, let's burn this. We want to burn this over here as well. Get a few rupees for ourselves. But what's up this way? Oh, chest. Of course. Okay, put this away. Put this away. I remember, like, not having lantern oil, like, ever <laughs> in my first playthrough, uh, which probably annoyed the hell out of a lot of people. Well, we have the slingshot, don't we? So we should be using that a little bit more to knock down these pots, maybe, instead of the fire. Get a blue rupee, which is five rupees. Like that one. Oh, put that away. We don't need that right now because we have a lot of light to where we're going. Man, I don't remember like any of the, the this game. I I know like the thing is like I remember the stuff that I love about it, the particular stuff that I love about it, but like little details about it like really are like drawing a blank on my head as well. Oh, I remember this. Yes, I remember this. This is great. I remember having to return here later on as well. Good job in the game for already making it feel a little bit threatening though, right? Oh, Jesus. No! No! How do I get free? How do I get free? Want to get rid of him first? Just little jabs, little jabs. Create, create some distance between us. Man, it must be scary for Link too though, right? Like, it must be terrifying for him to be coming out here as well into, this, into the wilderness. So we got 50 seeds there. Let's just make sure we can find a way around here. Little baits, or little keys, I should say. We could use a slingshot to get them, it'd probably be way easier. I think of that. Oh, he was he was scared. I guess like it is the starting area. They're not gonna like. They probably want you to, to ease into it a little bit more. Oh, we can kill them with that. That's perfect. That was a neat trick. I don't want to like, like, this is like the, my, my problem whenever I come into a place like this. I want to like make sure I'm seeing absolutely everything before I go any further. It's, it's actually really fun to swing a sword as well in this game. Oh my god, that was a swing I didn't even ex expect. Well done, Link. Get a few seeds. We don't need them. That's the problem. I should probably be um, holding off on hitting those things until I actually need them. So we came through. Did we come go? From, no, we did not go from there. Collection of rupee. Thirty-five rupees is not bad. Okay, so we came from over here, but there's a chest up here as well. Yeah. Okay. The red shows where we've been, right? Yeah, so we came from this place. Just, just so we know, just so we know. What is in here now? Like, because I know, like, the gate is probably the way we're going to get to uh, our, our destination or where we have to find the kid. Or maybe this is, like, well, we're, we're going in... Oh, no, it's just, this just seems to be a chest. Okay. This is so much fun to play. Okay, let's light these lanterns up. Or these, uh... It's... Oh, and it gives us something. Okay, I was just doing it for uh, some light. But that's a cool hidden secret. That's a very classic Zelda secret, though, right? The the secret, like, put a chest here or put an item here. That's a classic, like, little trick. And we got a small key. Oh, okay, so we needed to go here anyway. But this is optional. And we got a piece of heart. We Oh, my God, I collected no pieces of heart in my first playthrough of this. I collected nothing. Like, collectors were, like, crying over what I was doing. I love that stab move as well. I love a good, I love a good jab. I love a good jab. Even in Dark Souls, uh, my favorite moves are, like, the jabs or the jumping stabs or, like, that go straight forward. Oh, they respawn when you come back out. That's interesting. Oh, there we go. In trouble. It's so weird that they like hold you right here. Okay, that's it. You're all dead. 
Collect a few, collect a few of these, collect a heart. I don't know why I'm killing absolutely everything though, because it's not like it's experience points, you know what I mean? There's... Hey guys, it's been about a day since the last part, or the last part of the video. Uh, I actually just had to go do something, so I took a long uh, break. Uh, we're back again, uh, and we're about to open this gate. I am blown away, and I probably said it in a, like a little insert at the start of the video, but I'm blown away uh, by the by the uh, the response to the first video. Uh, not that I didn't know that you guys were kind, but I didn't know how people were going to react to this series at all. Like it was actually something that was like um, I didn't collect that rupee. That was like that was extremely uncertain to me. I think was probably the word I would give it. Oh, this is so pretty. Uh, so when I actually got the response of like people being so excited to see this, it was I don't know, man. It was <laughs> it was fucking it was a magical it was a magical late night when I was reading all the comments and it was a beautiful morning to wake up and see all the comments as well. It was really nice. This is the forest temple, right? And this is also where you can steal some potions, which I think I did like a million times. I think we're gonna go for a non-stealing playthrough this time. Oh, hey, you're super. Now we just buy something, hey. So, here we can like... Welcome, hey, buddy. Buy something, anything. So, I think, if I'm not mistaken, uh, first of all, let's drink this. Now, I know that's probably a waste, but if I if I remember correctly, so there's, uh, red potion and green potion. Green potion is health, isn't it? Or is red potion health? I think red potion is health, so. Uh, so red potion is, uh, refill for 30 rupees, blended mushrooms and herb replenishes life energy. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to pick this up. We're going to have to at some point anyway. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use it right now. Uh, we have to replace this. Good. <laughs> I do not trust myself with that. I do not trust myself at all. Um, how do I... Can I pay you now? Just drop in the money in the box. So it's 30 rupees, isn't it, sir? There you go. Thanks, hey, thanks so much. I don't want to steal this time. Thank you. Come back sometime. Because I know that you like you can just continuously steal from this thing. Uh, but he's running a business and I want to play this game right, I guess. I mentioned last time that it's like, you know, you don't need experience points in this game. Uh, you don't need to kill everything. But there's, I don't know, I just like doing it. <laughs> I, I, I like it. It's fun though. It's fun. You know, it's fun to kill things. And it's good practice as well. I think more than any other game, the Zelda series is very much about that, isn't it? We got 10 rupees for our trouble. Um, Like, yeah, you're ki not killing things to get experience points. You're killing things to get better at the game. So really, you're leveling up uh, while uh, Link is, you know, gaining hearts and damage. Oh my god, look at him. The monkey. The monkey's in trouble. I guess the kid's in trouble too. Um, I think it, you get to like do a bunch of this shit when Wolf Link comes when you turn to Wolf Link, don't you? This game is super gorgeous, and I'm glad that a lot of people noticed that like uh like a lot of things have changed since the first game. And I was watching an old video of mine, and yes indeed, a lot of things have changed since my first playthrough of this game. One of the main things being that uh I was so bad. I was so bad at this game. Like I don't like at first like when I when now that I'm playing the second time around, at first I was like like it's not a problem. It's not a problem whatsoever, like guys. Now I look back at it. While people, you know, you should never be angry at someone for being bad at a game. That's just dumb. Uh but it's like, oh my god, I was angry at myself. <laughs> and we saved uh little Bocker. If you hadn't come, like, gee, me and that monkey would have gotten eaten properly. Properly. She's actually a pretty nice gal, that monkey. She tried to protect me, so we got captured together. Um, Link? You're not gonna mention this to my dad, are you? He's always telling me to never ever go into the forest because he says it's dangerous. So you really can't tell him, really. You have to promise. Um, oh, here we go. I used to get in trouble to go in places as well, so I understand how he feels. My son told me Tallow disappeared. 
into the woods and did not return. I came as soon as I heard. But it looks like you brought him home already. I apologize. Such a task should not fall to you. Tell me, have you noticed how strange these woods seem lately? I feel uneasy about what may lie in wait. Look how good the lighting is here. Anyway, Link, tomorrow is finally the day. You'll be departing for Hyrule. I think it's a good thing I've given this task to you. <laughs> good luck. And return safely. If you're lucky, you may even get to meet Princess Zelda. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, I used to get in trouble all the time for, like, uh, going places I wasn't supposed to, so I definitely understand. I was not very good at hiding it, though. People always find out. Uh, my town is so small that everyone knows everybody, so... Link's just living life, man, and that's what I love about Twilight Princess Link. He is just living it up, like. So, almost time for you to get going, huh, Link? So, how's it about we finish up early today, bud? Gotta get them chores. I gotta get the ghost back at the bar and then climb up an opponent and holler me. Okay, so we have to get the opponent back in the round. Let's do it. Did no one notice the Triforce symbol on this kid's hand? <laughs> I suppose you would not everyone would just know what that is, especially people from Orden Village. Okay, let's get started. So we have to uh, do this again. Which again, I am all for. Um, I've heard a million times the complaints about uh, this part of the game and like here's the thing like if you come you if you don't like an aspect of a game that's 100% valid it's always valid you know no matter how like dumb it is like unless you're complaining about something that like is just not true then that's different uh, but for me the, the aspect of this game of like herding these goats into the into the barn is actually not only kind of like oh you okay come on let's do it's not only kind of therapeutic but it actually kind of like makes sense um, in, in this character's story. And again, like I talked about in my top 10 favorite Zelda moments, uh, but uh, I feel as though it fits a lot. I fits It fits the game a lot because I feel like there's a good contrast between the darker parts of this game and the lighter parts of this game as well. You can't have the dark without the light. And you know what you're missing in this. Guys, um, at the end of this, we're going to end this video, and then we're going to hopefully get into the next part of this game after this. Uh, it's probably going to get very dark and very strange as time goes on. Uh, we're about to we're about to go into probably like one of the darker parts of the game, or at least like one of the scarier parts of the game. And by that I mean like, you know, everything's about to get turned on its fucking head. <laughs> or at least I think it is. I might be completely wrong and like it, it doesn't take place for another while. I'm, I'm really bad at this. I know my time is going to be horrible. Um... Would like to do this in less than two minutes, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. I do, again, just want to quickly thank you all uh, for the amazing response on the first video. And the amazing response. Like, I, I was not expecting at all. And I hope, I hope that I can do this whole playthrough justice. And I hope that I can do this game justice. And if not, well, I'm sure someone else has a playthrough of it somewhere. <laughs> But it's, it's, it's kind of been a thing where, like, I I should have played this um, a long time ago. I've been wanting to play it since 2017, I think it was, when I was, like, craving to play this. And I, wouldn't, I wasn't going to play it by myself, because I feel like a second playthrough is almost just as important to me as a first playthrough. So that's why I kind of, like, didn't want to, like, uh, do it alone. And there we go. Oh, boy, you can hurt all that was, like, oh, really? Well, that about wraps it up for today, so how's about you go ahead over to the mayor's place? Guys, I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.